Welcome back to Reading with Miss Michelle. Today we're going to read Pinkalicious and the Flower Fairy by Victoria Can. If you have a copy, go get it so you can read along with me. Don't forget to help us out by liking, subscribing, and sharing this video with all of your friends. I want a flower fairy to visit my garden, I said to my brother Peter. I want a worm to visit my garden, Peter said. Yuck, I said. I sprinkled seeds over our gardens. Flower fairies love pink flowers, I said. Worms love mud, Peter said. I raked and watered my garden. Vroom, Peter yelled. I worked hard on my garden. After two weeks, my seeds sprouted. There were little leaves, but no flowers. The next day it rained and rained. It rained for weeks. When the sun finally came out, I ran outside to see my garden. Now all of my plants will bloom. There was a lot of green. Where's all the pink, I wondered. Zoom, Peter said. He drove his truck through his garden. He made roads with his shovel. Calling all worms, he said. Take a ride on my racetrack. I had an idea. I needed to show my flowers how to grow. I made tissue paper flowers and put them in my garden. Calling all flowers, I said, bloom like these paper flowers. I waited all day, but nothing happened. How would I ever see a flower fairy without any real flowers? I was too sad to garden. The next day, Peter yelled, guess what I saw? Hint, it was pink. A worm, I groaned. No, Peter said. A flower fairy. No, you didn't. Did you? I gasped. A pink flower fairy? Why didn't she visit me? I said. My garden is better, Peter said proudly. I looked at his garden and looked at mine. Peter was right. I had to do something. I'm going to pinkify my garden, I told Peter. Then the fairy will want to visit me. Molly came over to help. We strung sparkly pink lights and shiny pink streamers. We added a pink parasol and set out pink fairy cakes. My garden was a pink wonderland. I put on music and Molly and I danced like fairies. It was very loud, very fun, and very pink. Still, the fairy didn't come. All we saw was a wiggly pink worm. My mom looked out the door. It's time to clean up, she said. We began packing my pink belongings. Soon, my garden was plain again. It was time for Molly to go home. We didn't see a fairy, I said. Molly gave me a hug. Don't be sad, she said. I sat down in the grass. A big weed tickled my foot. I pulled it out. Behind it was a pink flower. I pulled out more weeds. I couldn't believe it. My garden was beautiful. There were flowers hidden among the weeds all along. I smelled the fragrant pink flower. Hello, said a little voice. I was nose to nose with a fairy. She was pink and shimmery. She had flower petal wings. I'm very glad you cleaned up your garden, she said. Now I have room to fly. Your garden is pink perfection, said the fairy. There's just one thing that will make it better. I knew exactly what that was. Fairy magic, I cheered. The fairy fluttered her wings. Sparkles rained down. More flowers grew and bloomed, making a beautiful arch. Wow, Peter and I said. It was flower-tastic. The end. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed listening to this book, and I hope you were able to read along. Don't forget to help us out by liking, subscribing, and sharing this video with all of your friends. I hope you join me next time.
Bye.